adjacent angles are angles that are right beside each other. Now, supplementary and complementary angles can also be adjacent, but if you have a pair of angles that are supplementary and adjacent, then supplementary is the main key. Like adjacent is one of the angle relationships that we know in seventh grade, but supplementary, complementary, and vertical are the three most important ones, okay? So let's name a couple of pairs of adjacent angles. So we have B, D, E. And an angle that's right beside B, D, E is A, D, E. Or you could have said E, D, C, either way, but A, D, B. All right. Vertical angles share a point and they are across from each other and they are congruent. So I have BDE and FDC. They share this point in the middle and they're both the same size. So those are vertical. All right, find the measure of G below. Well, G and 55 are supplementary because they form a straight line. So I can do 55 plus G equals 180 and solve. But G and 125 are vertical angles, which means whatever G is, its vertical angle is the same thing. So G equals 125 degrees. Find the measure of GAS. GAS is vertical to DAC, so it's going to be 113. Identify all the vertical angles in the diagram below. So we have AGB and EGD. BGC and FGE and AGF and DGC. If two angles are vertical angles and one is 8 degrees, what is the measure of the other one? Vertical angles are congruent, so that is 8, 8 degrees. Find the, me me the measure of angle X and Y. Y is 46. These are vertical. They're across from each other. So Y is 46 because they're congruent. And X is 134. Explain your reasoning. I use their vertical angles because vertical angles are congruent. If angle JKL and MNO are vertical and MNO is 20, then JKL is also 20. In the figure below, the measure of angle 3 is 40. Explain which measurement is congruent to angle 3. Angle 3 is vertical with angle 4, so angle 4 is also 40 degrees. They are congruent. All right, find the values of X and Y. So this one's a little bit tricky. X, 55, and this right angle all form a straight line, which means that they are supplementary. So X plus 55 plus 90 equals... 180. So I'm going to solve for X first. 55 plus 90 is 145. 180 minus 145 is 35. 35 and this angle, which is not Y, part of Y, but it's not Y. 
Those are vertical angles, so this one's also 35. Why is this whole piece, so y equals 90 plus 35, which is 125? All right, this angle we know is 90 degrees. These two angles are complementary because of this right angle. So x plus 32 equals 90. I'm going to take the 32 away from the 90 to see that x is 58. Now, this 90 degree angle is vertical with x and y. So x and y are complementary. When you add them together, they will also equal 90. x plus 58 equals 90. I'm sorry, y. y plus 58 equals 90. So y is 32 degrees. All right, classify each triangle by its sides and by its angles. So this one, and let me add some tally marks to the ones that are equal because it didn't show up on this page. All right, there are no side lengths that are the same, so it's scaling. And this angle is bigger than 90 degrees, so it is obtuse. Remember that when you're classifying by side, scaling means that no sides are equal. Isosceles means that two sides are equal. Equilateral means that all three sides are equal. When you're classifying by angles, acute means all three are less than 90. Right means that one of them is 90 degrees. And obtuse means that one of them is bigger than 90 degrees. So for number two, two of the side lengths are the same, so that's isosceles. And they're all less than 90 degrees, so that is acute. All right, to solve for an angle, a missing angle, three angles in any triangle add up to equal 180 degrees. So if I have 2x, 40, and x, 90, I'm going to add the three of these together and set it equal to 80 degrees. You have to combine like terms first. So 2x plus x is 3x. And then solve. We're going to subtract 40 from both sides. So that's going to be 3x equals 140. And 140 divided by 3 is 46 and 7 tenths. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. All right, so for this one, I have 2x, 3x, and then I have this angle. Remember that this means 90 degrees. So 2x plus 3x plus 90 equals 180 degrees. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 90 plus 90 is 90. And 90 divided by 5 is 18. 